we've hit the road in the SRT and uh, we're actually going down to have Alexa pay some college tuition today. And we are going down to a recreational area, Hoffman Hills. Uh, that's the plan anyway, to check out some uh, hiking trails. And then we're gonna head to Eau Claire afterwards, but we're gonna take a drive here finally, have a go in this Chrysler 300 SRT8. I've been looking forward to this since I bought it. And uh, we're gonna take around some back roads here a little bit and have some fun with it. So this is kind of the first small road trip that I've done since I bought the car. The roads are a little rough here. We'll catch back up once we get to Menominee. We made it to our first stop, the administration building where Alexis got to pay her tuition. And uh, now we're heading over to Hoffman Hills, but I have to get some gas first per every SRT. You're always uh, low on fuel. So we are going to the gas station next to get some gas. Premium gas for that matter. We're on our way to Hoffman Hills. recreational area day use facility and it's nice that this is a paved road this is a nice little area to take your car if you want to have a fun little car enthusiast day with your cool car and uh, hike around but we're excited to get hiking here and see what we can find but these roads around here are great for any sort of spirited driving that you have with your car, whether it's your SRT like what I have, or your BMW M or your AMG. Um, pretty cool. So we made it to Hoffman Hills recreational area and uh it's open 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. We've got a map here and it actually looks fairly big. Uh, wow. So we are right there. Maybe we'll go up there. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. We're just going to see where we end up here. Um, this is actually really cool. This isn't very far away from where we live. And. Uh, be cool to come here more often this is pretty sweet so we'll get going here on the walk and uh join back up huh how cool oh really we yeah we could try it and see yeah doesn't matter to me i'm just walking over here i want to see what this is maybe it's potable water Grass is still a little wet, so I might get some wet feet today, but that is okay. Oh, look at this. Wow. Mm. Well, I just drank the water. I don't know if it's great to drink, but I just drank it. <laughs> Interesting. Man, we are walking up here. If you look down there, there's a little dry run. And then we've only walked 0.12 miles, but this is a lot of uphill so far. Big drop into the woods. This is a uphill trail. If you look up there, it goes up higher. 
it's pretty nice out right now, but very high up here. Very cool though. Just to be outside enjoying nature. Oh, what? You're heaving. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot. And if my heart rate isn't up for the day yet, once I get going though, you can't stop me. Wow, the phone doesn't do it justice. How big of a drop that is down there. But this is really cool. And we're the only ones here on a Tuesday morning too. It's really not that, I mean, it's early for some people, but for us, it's really not that early because we get up really early in the morning for work. So this is kind of nice to enjoy a little bit of a day off here and walk on these fantastic trails. I'm curious to see what the elevation change is gonna be from the start of the walk to the end of the walk and see what the highest point is gonna be. Wow. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, raspberry, blackberries. Oh, what? Wow. How do they taste? Are they quite ripe yet? They're very good. Really? Wow. Well, I'll be damned. Hear the soft sound of insects buzzing all over the place. Ooh, that is a big one. We're getting our workout in and our healthy eating in. <laughs> We're living that life, getting that bag. <laughs> we have hit intersection six in the Hoffman Hills, and now we're gonna go straight. It is known if you go off to the left of intersection six, there is an animal up here known as the, the skunk. It looks like it is horse. Yep, that's horse, all right. We saw some poop back there that may have been part of the skunk bear family, but it was a horse. Big horse. I wonder if that was today. Anyway, this intersection six takes us to the skunk bear territory. Skunk bear territory? Yep, she heard it right. Skunk bear. There's a little sign. I think we gotta keep going straight though. One thing it is known though, uh, make sure you wear your hiking shoes. Our shoes, what we wore, are a bad choice. We didn't know though. No, I forgot the grass was gonna be wet. And owning a golf course and being out there every day, you'd think that I would know that my uh, <laughs> grass was gonna be wet here. Little deer tracks, little babies. But uh, I guess I forgot. Look at these woods. Whew. Very fun. Wow, we've got a deer exclusion fence demo. Huh. Local demonstration and experiment on potential methods to control excessive deer browsing in our area. Huh. About half an acre. Wow. This is very you cool. You see the deer browsing to a minimum within the fence. Huh. And allow tree seedlings to reach a height. Wow. Cool. Well, there we go. Half an acre. It's fenced in from the deer. Those damn deer. We need to kill more of them. <laughs> I need to shoot my big buck this year. That's a big drop right there. The hills of Dunn County. Wow. Ah, very cool. We're going to the tower right now, although I am vastly afraid of heights. We'll see what this tower is like, if it's like the uh, tower in Lord of the Rings. I won't be going up it, but if it's like a normal tower, like a deer stand, I will be going up it, but I doubt that's the case. And there's no such thing as a skunk bear, as Alexa wanted to tell you all. <laughs> She couldn't tell his being sarcastic because she thought it was a real thing, but it is not. There's no such thing as the skunk bear. Oh, we made it to this tower. Alexa will go up the tower, but I don't know if I'm gonna make it. This is like way too, 
that's tall guys that's really tall i i can't i can't do it i i i can't do it that is up there it's like 75 feet up i'll see what i can do though yeah wow construction the navy cb's 25th battalion detachment 0425 the army 397th engineering battalion wow huh cb's wow that's from 85 Holy smokes. So they actually had the army build this. And it's still standing since. That was like, what, 40 years ago? Holy smokes. Oh. All right. You got it, babe. Just look up. Not trying to have a panic attack today. We're so close. Oh, 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 okay, okay, we're a little, we're a little high up. <laughs> you can do it. We're a little high up. Okay. Oh goodness. Yeah, I can't do heights whatsoever. Holy shit! Jesus Christ. Oh well, it was fun. We made it up like one flight. Yeah, one flight. So this is uh, this is probably still twenty feet up, I would imagine. Twenty fifteen, maybe. Yeah, that's not very high. We have completed our little time at Hoffman Hills. Um, we probably spent yeah just about an hour out here walking, and now we have to run some errands in Eau Claire. But we got a little hike in for the day, which was very fun. Hoffman Hills is an excellent place to come to. Um, definitely, if we have more time, we're coming back again and uh, taking some more time to chillax here. And there's more people. Oh, cool. We are heading out of Hoffman Hills. Mosquitoes got bad right at the end, so we got bit up. So remember to bring some bug screen. But now, bug, bug spray. A little mixture of sunscreen and bug spray. But anyway. We are taking the car out and enjoy a nice little ride here to Eau Claire and uh, enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. Awesome. All right, folks, we're taking her on the interstate. I haven't had her on a two-lane interstate in, since I bought the car, actually, back in April, and now it's March. So we're getting a little taste of everything here today, which is very fun. Used to be a really good restaurant around here called the Juicy Shrimp Shack, but it went out of business, so can't eat there today. Looks like we're going to Panera Bread. Ooh, we got the slow pala in front of us. Gotta watch out for cops. For the po po. Now we're cruising. Folks, it's not fucking March. It's it's July right now. It's almost August for Christ's sakes. So yeah, now we're just cruising. We're on uh, 94, just rolling, trying to figure out where to eat, which is probably gonna be Panera, I would say. And we got this slow fucking poke in front of us. Jesus, it was a nice trip. And then we've got bad drivers on the freeway, but little taste of what goes on in the life here of uh, Indian Alexa. But this guy won't move. God, we're only going 70 miles an hour. Not even. So SRT's got to get this thing out of the way. Gee whiz. Our shopping trip is over. We uh, are heading home now with the SRT. And it's actually 80 degrees. It's not running too hot, but we've averaged 19.2 miles per gallon this trip. Not bad, and I haven't romped on it at all. But uh, we failed to buy anything cool, which is probably for the best. And uh, because everything's expensive now. And now we're just rolling home. We get a cop behind us, so we really can't go any faster than what we're going right now. We're going about 75. And uh, we're just cruising along in these comfy seats. Alexa here could almost fall asleep. And I don't blame her because these seats are comfy. 
holy crap man srt seats are the best um anyway we're just passing uh the old john deere place and we're heading home don't need to buy any tractors today even though i'd like to get a new uh zero turn but can't do that today all right folks thanks for staying tuned to this episode kind of a day in the life here of uh, daily vlog of indian alexa